G'day guys, it's Jara here and welcome to 16 personalities. So this is a quiz, basically it tells you certain different things, so I'm not entirely sure a lot about it, but it tells you like personality and what personality type you are. So like all these different ones says analysts, diplomats, senators and explorers. Now as you guys know, I'm a Jacksepticeye fan, JSD fan, and he wants, he's a protagonist. My mother is a protagonist, and my father is an entrepreneur. So we're going to see what it's like for me. Will I be an explorer? Will I be a diplomat? Will I be any of the others? Let's just take the chest and let's find out. Also, it's called 16 Personalities, so yeah. It should take less than 12 minutes. Answer honestly, even if you don't like it, and try not to leave any answers neutral. Got it. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. Yeah, I kind of do. I agree. Like it's very, it's very easy for me to introduce him to like that, but to other people, not really. It's difficult. You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Mm, I don't forget my surroundings, but I do get lost in thoughts. I do ignore. Yeah. You try to respond to emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. I hate messy inboxes. Um, I hate, like, because I have Gmail, I have um, Outlook, which has three different other emails. So I got four different emails to look after. And it is flooded with emails constantly, and I hate it. So, yeah. You find it easy to stay relaxed and focused even when there's some pressure. <sighs> No, not really. I kind of um, get a little bit frustrated. I can be quite relaxed, but I get a bit annoying. You do not, you do not usually initiate conversations. Um, it depends on the on the conversation. Like if it's with a friend, then I will. But if it's with like a stranger, then not overly. So I'm gonna go with this one. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. I love to do things for the curiosity. So whether it's like trying this was I was curious about it, you know, trying different things. I'm a very curious person. You find you feel superior to other people. Hell no, sister. We're all the same. Humans are the same no matter what gender, race, or sexuality we are. Being organized is being more important to you than being adaptable. I don't agree with that. I agree that people should be organized and adaptable, but I don't agree with that. You are usually highly motivated and energetic. We all have our ups and down moments, obviously, but yeah, I think I'm quite highly motivated and energetic. Considering I'm in high school and it's a hard time, I'm gonna say I agree. I don't 100% agree, but I agree. Winning a debate matters less to you than making. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Um, depends on the debate as well. Uh, some debates, I I do want to win that debate, but I do care what other people think, so it means less. So I, I'm going to say I agree, not fully. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. No, not really. Your homework and work environment are quite tidy. Well, I mean... 75% of the time it's clean like it's not pristine, but it's not like I'm treading over things So I'm gonna go with a green You do not mind being at the center of attention Um, That's hard. I don't yeah, I don't yeah, I agree. I don't mind being in the center of attention, but I don't want to be like Beacon me. I am the center of attention bow down to your leader. And that's just not my forte. You consider yourself more practical than creative. No, I think I'm quite creative. Um, practical. I'm kind of like a 50. I'm more of like a 60 40 type person, more 60 to creative. People can really upset you. That is true. Um, it's hard. Like, if I did this a year or two ago, I would have said, um, agree. But right now, at this current stage, I disagree. It's very hard to upset me. Um,. Yeah, like I can be fake upset, but I mean, you know, when I was younger, I used to be very concerned with my body and stuff like that, and 
it was difficult because I had people who calling me fat and whatever, and that made me feel upset, but I never cried about it. So right now, I disagree because I have learned to love myself and to love my body. So that's a positive. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. I personally haven't planned a trip, but when I do trips, they're really planned out. They're they're not like overly planned out, like every minute of so like this date we're gonna go to this thing for an hour, then travel here and here and here and here. I'm kind of very adaptable and very free flowing, so yeah, it's often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. I don't think so because I get people and I get their emotions and their feelings and stuff like that. So for me in particular. When people chat to me and stuff like that, I can feel their emotions. That's why with games and books, especially books, I really connect with the character. Movie is kind of a kind of harder for me because the just the way they are, it's very hard for me to connect with movie characters. Hence why I don't cry movies. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a border. It's often difficult for you to sorry, your mood can change very quickly. I mean doesn't all our moods change it doesn't go like one minute I'm hot next minute I'm cold one minute I'm angry next second I'm happy and running through rainbow fields like I've never really been like that I've very I've been very practical so I'm gonna say disagree a lot in a discussion truth should be more important than people's sensitivity now this is a hard thing for me because I'm all about truth I'm all about you know, truth is important. Truth will solve more things or it could break people, but truth matters. Sensitivity, on the other hand, is a very touchy subject. Like if someone has said, like if your dog had died and you're crying, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna, you know, comfort them, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, your dog's dead, get over it, we're all gonna die. But that's not what I mean. I mean, as in, as, you know, there's a lot of things truth. Like, for example, if someone has said to me, do you like my boyfriend, for example, or girlfriend or partner? And if I don't like them, I'm going to say, to be honest, no. So it's kind of like a thing. So I'm going to go agree more to truth. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Yeah, I kind of don't really think about it, which is bad. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than a methodical and organized approach. That's hard for me because I'm at school, everything is very organized, very approach. So I'm going to do this. reason I'm not clicking this button is because I think giving ourselves those little bit of room because I do have random energy spikes for like videos and all these cool things. So you're often envious of others. Ooh, envious and jealousy are very two different things. So... Envious meaning. I'm gonna look up the meaning. Feeling or showing envy. I'm envy of their happiness. That was helpful. Um, it says acronyms are jealous. Uh, jealous synonyms: jealousy. Uh, envious and envy. Yeah, I agree. I often I don't awfully feel envy of people, but sometimes I'll be like damn I wish I had that body or you know damn I'm you know they're doing an, like my friend I'm constantly like you're so smart I wish I could be as smart as you but you know you're born with what you got you got what you got an interesting book or video game is often better than a social event hell to there can there be like one over here I've been with family and just read a book like sorry family but I love a good book if it's a really good book I'm sucked into I would just be all I'm thinking about is that book. I'm such a bookworm. Video games, I have only just been coming new to video games, but I love them so much. Get me on a good video game, I'm hooked for ages. So, plus, Nintendo Girl Forever and Always. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is more important, is the most important part of every project. I'm gonna have to agree. That it is important to develop a pen and to stick to it, but give yourself some wiggle room in case you want to change, because change is normal. You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Um, 
to be honest, I have to disagree. Yesterday, actually no, this this morning, I got so lost in my fantasies and ideas um, while I was in the shower that I was in there for like a half an hour. So that kind of made me late for school, but I mean like I was so lost in my fantasies and ideas and dreams that, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I'm hoping to achieve some of my fantasies and ideas, so, yeah. You often find yourself lost in thought when you're walking around nature. Hells to the year. I could just sit outside for an hour straight and just be lost in thoughts. If someone does not respond to your emails quickly, you start to worry if they say something wrong. I disagree because, um... I send emails constantly to other people, whether it's family members, friends, mem friends, um, other YouTubers, if it's just other people in general. I'm constantly emailing people, and I don't mind if it takes, you know, a week or two back. Only when I ask again is when I'm really eager. So, like, I'm trying to get this thing happening for the channel, which I don't know when this is going to go up, if it's up or not, but I emailed this person twice in the week. Well, one week and then like the next week, but it was very close. And she's like, they sent me an email back saying that they weren't feeling well. And that made me so, I felt so bad, but I was just so excited. I couldn't wait for the project. So yeah, as a parent, you'd rather see your child grow up kind and smart. If I have a child, I'd rather them be so kind and just absolutely amazing. Like not amazing, like as an oh, queen bee, but I mean, as in, I want them to be show sure I want to teach them to be kind, be passionate, be caring. You know, everyone is different. You need to, you know, treat them right. Learn about all the different cultures. Learn about the world. Learn about different religions. Accepting everyone for who they are. Um, I don't really care if they're smart. Because I'm not overly smart, so I don't really care. So, I agree, but I'm going to leave that because I want them to... If they're smart, cool. They're kind, even better. You don't let other people influence your actions. I'm gonna have to say I uh, slightly agree because like obviously people influence my actions daily so it's just how much oh wait you do not that one whoops wrong one um, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events yeah some of them do some really i hope they don't i had a dream what was it two days ago that i was being chased by a giant gummy bear with a jelly bean sword trying to attack me and kill me hoping that's not real also my manuel just mentioned that i've got a new light which is over here in the corner which you can't see so let me know guys if you like this lighting setup better i actually haven't seen it so i'm not really sure what it will look like but it's an umbrella light so if you checked out my instagram link in the description you'll see a picture slash video of it there all right cool also guys please check out the description below it does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace i don't have a workplace i don't work but if I say this is my job, which I don't like, if it was a job, that'd be amazing. But right now it's not, it's just something I love and I'm happy to call this my obsession. Um, and I don't think I would, I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of middle, but I don't want to pick middle. doesn't take you much time to start getting involved. I kind of disagree. It depends on the people. It depends on the situations and all that stuff. You're more of a natural improviser than a carefree planner. I think I agree. I'm very good at improvising things if things go wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love my to-do list, but I like improvising on the go. Your emotions can control you more than you can control them. No. If I feel myself starting to cry, I'm going to be like, Jar, stop. You need to stop this, all right? This is not okay. You should not be crying. Just stop. And I'll stop. So, yeah. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role playing activities. The sound of that sounds absolutely amazing. I've never been to one. I've been to Comic Con. 
once but i didn't dress up but that was so much fun so i'm gonna say i agree you haven't spent time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas i don't want to say they're unrealistic because i think any dream i have can be any aspiration i have can be realistic and real and become a reality one day you'd rather improvise than spending time coming up with a detailed plan I'm gonna have to say disagree. You're a relatively reserved and quiet person. Depends on how you know me. Um, if I feel like if I'm new, I'll be quite reserved. Only with my friends will I be loud and crazy. So for example, I like to say this. This is kind of like my saying. If I don't know you, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna act like an adult. If we're friends, I'm gonna act like an adult have my childish moments. If we're best friends, I'm gonna act like a five-year-old. It's as simple as that. So I'm gonna have to say, agree. If you have a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but unperforming performance. Yeah. It would be difficult for me because they're loyal and more than likely we've become friends because that's... Okay, so I had this dream, right? That I owned a business of some type. So like I had more people on my, with doing YouTube with me. I don't know. But it was... I had this workplace and it would be super comfortable and there'd be like bean bags and really nice chairs and like up and down desks and just the workplace is very relaxing and calm and like a slippery dip that takes you down one floor kind of like the google office but more chill like i'd have like a milk dispenser in my office just saying but yeah if i had to fire a loyal person that'd be so hard and if they're unperforming, why can't I just help them? Simple as that. You often contemplate the reason for human existence. I do, and don't ask me why, but I just think I'd be like, how did we get here? Huh? Like, why? But I don't do it constantly, it's just like a, every once in a while. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. I like to say that my brain listens to my heart and my heart listens to my soul. So, I'm going to have to say I disagree. I think logical decisions happen with your brain. But, some logical decisions do happen with your heart. I haven't been able to use it yet, so we'll see. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. I disagree. I think having a to-do list is amazing. And I can always add more to it. So, it's kind of like a 50-50. If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer an emotional support than suggesting a way to deal with the problem. I'm going to agree because I love to help people and if they do ask me, look, can you help me deal with this? We're going to sort it out. For some reason, a lot of my friends come to me for love advice, yet I've never had a love interest or a partner, so it's really weird. Yeah, although the people who ask me have had a partner. Also, you might be noticing I'm saying partner a lot more because instead of saying boyfriend slash girlfriend, we're saying partner just because it's easier for the world and whatnot. You really feel insecure. Right now, don't feel insecure anymore. I feel like I'm a strong, independent woman and I can destroy this world. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. I cannot do that. I suck at timetables. Just, I suck so badly. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. Disagree, I'd rather be cooperative than be right constantly, but I would like to be right about something. Um, you think that everyone's views should be respected regardless of whether they're supported by facts or not. 100% agree, I think everyone's views should be respected constantly, even if you do not like it. You shouldn't be trashing them and giving them hate or whatever, just respect their views even if it's completely lies and you know it, just be like, all right, cool. It's your your opinion, your view, whatever. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Hells to the earth. When I'm with my friends, I am like an energy ball. I am like, oh, constantly. I'm so awake, so happy, and I'm so amazed. Like, I feel so comfortable and just really upbeat, and it's really cool. You frequently misplace things. I don't 
Yeah, I do misplace things frequently, but not like a lot, lot. So it's kind of like a. <laughs> you see yourself as a very emotional. You see yourself as a very emotional state. Very emotional stable. What? You see yourself as a very emotional state? Stable? Oh, am I stable? Yes, I'm emotionally stable. Can't read. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Are you buzzing, head? Yeah, not really. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Oh, I'm a dreamer, baby. You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Classmates, definitely. But when I would be in front of a group of people I know I'm comfortable with, like family or friends, not really. Oh, um, it's just with classmates because I know that they are mean people in my class in school, and they're one of those people that are very because it's an all girls school. It's very much like, oh, you're so mean, and look at her, she's so stupid. Look at her uniform, it's like so horrible. Look how short it is, and then you look at hers, and hers is like that much shorter it's like actually this much shorter generally speaking you rely more on your experience than your imagination i agree you worry too much about what other people think not anymore i don't give a damn if the room is full you stay closer to the walls and avoiding the center yeah i don't like being in the center of attention um like if my friends drive me i'll go with or sometimes i'll drag them it just depends you have a tendency to procrastinate so there's nothing there's not enough time to do everything hell no school no you feel very anxious and stressed you feel very anxious in stressful situations a little bit but not overly you believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others and powerful i guess i don't want to be powerful but i mean I'd rather be liked, but then that kind of goes against the whole do you care what other people think? Have you always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things? Books, arts, movies. Yes, I love books dearly. Movies, awesome art. I do like. <coughs> this girl at my school painted this artwork and I wanted to buy it from her. It was absolutely amazing. It was this person, it was a female, and she had long black hair. Her face was kind of white and everything was kind of black and white. But then there was these like colourful drips pouring out from her head and like her chin and one from her like nose and eyebrows. And I thought that was amazing because to me it was showing all the creativity was trying to get out of her head. And what I liked particularly as well is that her eyes, there was like a window in them and you could see the reflections and it looked so beautiful. So I really hope I can get that. You often take initiative in social situations. No. The results are. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. What is wrong with being liked? This is very different from what I thought I was going to be. So I'm an extrovert. Considering at school I got introvert. That's interesting. My energy is observant nature 75 percent i knew nature would be high i'm more judging and a hmm i want to start reading let's see if it is like me people who share the console personality type are for lack of a better word popular okay i'm not popular so which makes sense given that it's also a very common personality type being at 12% of the population in high school consists of the cheerleaders and the quarterbacks setting the ton Taking the spotlight and leading their team forward to the victory and fame. No, I was never a cheerleader. I was. We don't have a quarterback team. I wasn't popular in primary school. Um, high school, kind of, but not really. Um, later in life, consumers continue to enjoy supporting their friends and loved ones, organizing social gatherings and doing their best to make sure everyone's happy. All right, yeah, I'm very much like that. I love. Be like, hey guys, you want to come over? Do you guys want to, you know, all go to this person's house and hang out, whatever? So I guess that's very true. At their hearts, consumer personalities are social creatures and thrive on staying up to date with their friend, with what their friends are doing. True, I do like to know what my friends are doing. I find that so much fun. Plus, they always tell me. Discussing scientific theories or debating European politics isn't likely to capture 
Conceal's interest for too long. I love discussing scientific scientific theories. Conceal's are more concerned with fashion and their appearance, their social status and their standings of other people. Practicality matters in gospel and their bread and butter. But concerns do their best to use their power for good. Okay, I do not agree with any of that. Um, Playdates aren't just for kids. Okay, apparently I am like Bill Clinton, Taylor Swift, don't know who that is, don't know who that is, Jennifer Lopez, Tyra Banks, Dean Winchester, Monica, oh uh, yeah I could be like Monica, I like her, um, Mrs. Hudson, true, 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 what's on my strengths and weaknesses, I'm curious, my strong points, Practical skills, sense of duty, very loyal, sensitive and warm, good at connecting with others. I agree with those. What are my weakness? Worry about their social status. Don't care. Inflexible. No. Um. Uh, often too needy. Nope. Too selfless. I agree with that one, but these I don't agree with. Let's just do conclusion because there's a lot to read. Conclusion, fewer personality types practical and caring is concerned not only for their social and The knowledge is only the beginning of a lifelong journey. Are you ready to learn why concerns act in the way they do? What motivates and inspires you? What are you afraid of and what are you secretly dreaming about? How can you unlock the true exempt potential? I don't agree with that to be completely honest so I'm gonna actually do this test two more times and just show you the end results and we'll see what they say so yeah although very interesting them ESFJ hyphen a also you guys do it as well and tell me what are you a part of so because this is very interesting I'm I really didn't think I'd be you're a part of this popularity group. I didn't think I'd be one of these people. Extraordinary, caring, social, popular, always eager to help. I'm always eager to help. I'm caring, but I'm not social and popular. So, that's very interesting to know. Tell me if you guys are any of these people. Alright, so this is the second one. And I got Defender. We are born not just for ourselves. So according to this, I'm an introvert. I'm observant, feelings, judgment. What am I? Love only grows by sharing. You can only have more for yourself by giving it to others. Love that quote. The defender personality trap is quite unique as many of qualities defy the defending of individual traits. Those sensitive defenders have an excellent analytical abilities through reserved. They have well-developed skill, developed people skills, and robust social relationships. And though they are generally a conservative type, defenders are more often recipient to challenge and new ideas. And as with so many types, people with the defender personality types are more than the sum of their parts, and has always used their strengths to define who they are. I can totally agree with that. Defenders are true ultras. Meeting kindness and kindness in excess, and engaging the work and people they believe in, enthusiasm and generosity. It's hardly a better type to make up with such a large portion of the popularity. Nearly 13% combine the best traits of the desire to be good. Defenders are found in lines of work with a sense of history behind them, such as medicine, academics, and charitable social work. I do first aid, so that's kind of interesting. Um. And like Vin Diesel, Beyonce, Queen Elizabeth II, Kate Middleton, Anne Hathaway, Selena Gomez, Samwise, Dr. Watson, Will Turner. Oh, Will Turner. Miss you, Will. Um, let's just go strengths and weaknesses. One of my strengths supportive, reliable, and patient, imaginative, and observant. In, if, Enthusiastic, low and hardworking, good practicing skill. My weakness, humble and shy. Yeah, take things too personally, depends. Represses their feelings, definitely. Overloads himself, can happen. Reluctant to charge. Um, a situation sometimes needs to break the point. Two ultras is 
being such a warm and good nature person will let things slide to believe that things will get better soon to not burn others yet that's just a conclusion um the knowledge uh okay let's read the top part Few personality types are as practical and dedicated as defenders. Known for their reliability and altruism, defenders are good at creating and maintaining a secure and stable environment for themselves and their loyal ones. Defenders dedicate is invaluable in many areas, including their own personal growth. So that was my second chart. I prefer this one so much better. I think I'm more like this, definitely. So I definitely agree with this one a lot more than the other one. Although I feel like we're kind of like a mix, so I'm going to try one more time and then see what I get. So I'll show you what the third... Alright, so I just did it for the third time and the results are in. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Another one again. This is an advocate. Here, let me show you the right path. Um, I always know that na nature is going to be a lot, so it's very interesting to see I got three different types. And I think that's cool. Advocate. Advocate person type is very rare, make up less than 1% of the population. They are nonetheless leaving the mark on the world. As a member of the diplomat's role group, advocates have been an inborn sense of idealism and morality, but what see some part is not an ideal dreamer, but people capable of taking concentrated steps to realizing their goal and making a last potential impact. Advocates tend to see helping others as a purpose in life. I agree. But what people, but while people with this personality trait can be found engaging rescue efforts and doing charity work, their real passion is get to halve the issue so that people need not to be rescued at all. I agree. Like Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa. I agree. Nicole Kidman, Morgan Freeman, um, Oregon. Yep. Gallery. Yep. I said that wrong. I know. Rose from the Titanic, which is weird because my cousin said I'm like Rose <gasps> and I'm Mars. I'm going to look at the strengths and weaknesses and compare the two. My strengths are creativity, insightful, inspiring and convincing, decisive, determined and passionate and uh, true. Now this is interesting because this one went up to the other one I had as well, which was my last one. My weakness is sensitivity, extremely private. Perfectionist, I am not perfection. Always need to have a cause, can burn out easily. Yeah, I think that's true. Um, conclusion. A uh, few personality types are sensitive and mysterious as advocates. Your imagination and empathy makes you someone who not only cherishes their integrity and deeply held pr principle, but unlike many other idealist types, it is also capable of turning those ideas into plans and executing them. I think that's very true so that's very interesting for me because I got three different personality types which is very normal so I got an advocate quiet and mysterious yet very inspiring and tirelessly idealistic I agree with that one so I got that one a connoisseur which I don't agree with and um, what was my other one I don't remember Uh, there wasn't any of these. I got this one. Oh, and Defender. I feel like I'm a mixture of Defender and Advocate, which I am totally cool with. They're both, they're both got the I and F the same, and the AT. So the only difference is I'm talking about, see how it says, I'm pointing to the screen. You know how it says with the I and F, J bracket, A, T? Here it says, ISFJ bracket AT. I feel like they're very similar. Obviously, they are. The only difference is the N and S. So if I click on this one quickly, F and S. So what's this one here? Like the F and I and F. So yeah, I got more thinking last time. So I'm kind of like a 50 50. I absolutely agree with these things. I. I just 100% agree with it and I think you guys should try it out and do it more than once because who knows what you might get. It was funny, I almost got, yeah, so I'm more a diplomat 
but I have a mixture of defender and advocate and that's really cool so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it let me know in the comments below and please do this quiz it is so much fun to do and really relaxing while I was doing the quizzes I was actually watching some YouTube videos so that's pretty dope anyway you're out see you guys in the next video sarcasm out let's bring for a very sarcastic hug bye bye see ya Woo! I'm a defender and advocate I'm a wizard who's a nurse boom also I'm gonna just show you if I can ignore what's on the screen I don't know if you can see but that's new light so that's pretty dope so yeah I use OBS by the way if you wanted to know so I am this one advocate and defender and console